Heisang watches a video that explains the importance of jangsungs, which are wooden signs used for marking travel destinations. He realizes that the village lady has manipulated the jangsungs and summoned wandering ghosts to Bekchol so she can reunite with her deceased daughter. Heisang decides to play a ritual sound through the neighborhood speakers to find the specially crafted jangsung without being attacked by the ghosts. Meanwhile, San Young has a brief conversation with her dead father and discovers that he did not intentionally pass the curse on to her. At the same time, Heisang locates the jangsung and destroys it with an axe, causing the wandering ghosts to leave the village. Heisang takes an unconscious San Young to the hospital. When she wakes up, San Young shares her conversation with her deceased father with Heisang. They both realize that Kang Mo was also possessed by the evil spirit, but they are unsure how it happened. In the hospital, San Young confronts her mother, Kyung Moon, about the lies, and Kyung Moon reveals a story about an unborn child. When San Young's mother was pregnant with her second child, Kang Mo, who was possessed, threatened to harm the baby. Fearing for the child's safety, Kyung Moon sought refuge at her mother's place, but Kang Mo eventually carried out the curse. After losing the baby, Kyung Moon visited her mother's place and witnessed her jumping into a well, warning her to stay away from Kang Mo. Kyung Moon then left with San Young for Seoul, cutting off communication with her husband. After learning this truth, San Young seeks more details at home. Kyung Moon shares her first encounter with Kang Mo and the Jang Jin Ri story that he shared with her. This revelation shocks San Young. Meanwhile, Hong She meets with Moon Chon and provides evidence that connects all the recent suicide cases with burnt wrist marks to Kang Mo. Moon Chon takes the evidence and visits Hei Sang to discuss it. Hei Sang confirms that Kang Mo was possessed by an evil spirit, and the letter and will he left for his daughter were forced by the spirit. The burnt wrist marks are actually handprints left by the evil spirit. At that moment, San Young visits Hei Sang. Hei Sang says goodbye to Moon Chon and learns about the Jang Jin Ri story from San Young. In Jang Jin Ri, there was a tradition where the villagers would sacrifice their second child to appease a juvenile spirit and prevent a disaster. Unfortunately, Mok Dan was sacrificed by her own family, and her disappearance was not a simple missing girl case. The evil spirit currently possessing San Young is believed to be the little girl Mok Dan, although it's not completely certain yet, San Young receives a text message that changes her behavior. As she leaves Hei Sang's office, it is revealed that Wu Jin, who used to be around Hei Sang, is actually a deceased spirit. He thinks that San Young cannot see him, but when she walks down the stairs, she smirks, indicating that the possessed San Young can indeed see him. Wu Jin becomes eager for San Young's youth, and Hei Sang confronts him. Wu Jin blames Hei Sang for his current state. Meanwhile, San Young receives a text from Semi informing her that she has passed her civil exam. San Young, who didn't take the exam due to the chaotic situation, becomes emotional. Semi also texts that she is at a senior girl's wedding celebration and invites San Young to join. It is known that the evil spirit fulfills San Young's desires no matter what. Despite not being able to afford a nice dress for the celebration, San Young is a humble person who understands her limitations. However, the evil spirit inside her doesn't care about morals and acts on San Young's deepest desires. The possessed San Young arrives at the wedding celebration and shocks everyone with her appearance. Since she is possessed, she behaves in a disturbing manner towards Semi as well. When San Young regains control of herself, she runs away from the celebration, and Hong She follows her. San Young reaches a bridge and pleads with the demon to stop talking to her. Meanwhile, Hei Sang visits Kyung Moon's mother's place and digs up a spot where a rope was tied. He discovers an object that was buried there by his deceased mother. Hei Sang is puzzled about how the object ended up in that spot. At the same time, the possessed San Young at the bridge says, you found it. 